video we'll be continuing with the last lecture where we derive the new formula for senior age which is okay where this nominal money growth had a positive relation with mp which is senior age but at the same time this same guy over here had a negative relation okay now with help of a graph we'll understand how it can be shown or how it works okay say so this is your graph this is your x axis is your y axis here you have your nominal money growth the guy who is causing the problem and here you have the senior age which is the revenue that is being impacted so i just mentioned the positive and relation negative relation of the same okay so here we have a laffer's curve which is initially increasing then reaches a point and then decreases okay say this is the threshold point for this graph we see before this point there was a positive relation which means when money was, growth was increasing your senior age was also increasing but after this point we see that as your money supply is increasing the revenue or senior age is start has started to decrease okay this is exactly how you can represent this formula okay now if you pay attention then in first semester we learn that even when tax imposes i mean government imposes tax on us initially their tax revenue is higher initially right tax revenue is increasing as tax increases but after certain period of time tax revenue starts to decline as tax increases because people will start losing their efficiency they'll think that i'm earning 100 rupees and i'm supposed to pay 50 rupees to government then or where does my all hard work pay off it is not paying off i am not able to pay my bills just because i am supposed to give half of my income to government and hence their efficiency start to decrease and this is exactly what happens in case of senior age okay initially when money supply has increased your senior age will increase okay but after certain period of time when people will start to think that inflation has started to rise a lot due to this increase in money supply they'll start to keep their check uh, currency in form of checkable deposit which will lead to a decrease in senior age okay so can we say that the behavior of taxes and senior age seems to be kind of same now in order to make sure we can use some verifications right so now we'll just do it now in case of taxes now let's make two columns over here one for tax and another for your senior age tax or say inflation tax okay we'll know why so tax let's take income tax okay so income tax is imposed on your income so say this is my income okay multiplied by tax rate in case of senior age what we do is this if this is the money that we are holding okay so this real money balance somehow acts like the income over here in this case okay and we study that your this was constant right it was the case of constant nominal money growth so if this is constant then inflation will be constant so then we can say that it is this inflation multiplied by so sorry it's a proportional sign this has multiplied with your real money balance 
Inflation rate could act as your tax rate over here. Okay. Then can we see this relation which is coming up right now? We can say that okay, senior age is kind of like our inflation tax. Why? Because senior age, in order to make revenue, government increases money supply, which raises inflation. right and the burden of inflation tax or this falls on the people or money holders right so it's kind of like imposing the inflation tax on us right therefore we can say when money uh, when nominal money growth is constant then senior age is equal to inflation tax and this was it for this video remember this relation it's very important for now thank you